So welcome back to yep. the game that I played solo and Jack has never seen before, but no, I blind. found out there is an Octodad mode to this Super Monkey Ball spinoff. Because of course there is. Octodad mode is fun. I also noticed that uh, that uh, you, you're you're getting the Vinny special. Oh yeah, there's ball. a uh, there's a vine. Are there? Ball. What other balls are there? Yeah, let's see some balls. Let, let me. Uh... Isn't it mods? Maybe mod. No, mad shuffle is. I don't know what is that. Customized deck. I'm not gonna uh... worry about that. Change of language, skins, and more. Visual settings, maybe? No. Uh, there it skins. is. Skins, there we go. Oh, you can set yours, too. Fly axe. Well. I'm not going to stick with this Only one, one, by page, the way. Huh? I guess right. we get one pattern and we get a color. There you gotta be the pirate ball. If you do black, so. does it make the skull white? Oh. Oh well. You know what? Black's fine too. I'll do black. And maybe I can do. I can do. Th I can do think. Hmm. <laughs> that's good. That's a good one, actually. So I played through this in its entirety. It is a pretty faithful Monkey Ball spinoff with pretty much all the gameplay styles and options of the original games. It's got the arcade mode like Monkey Ball 1. You go through all the levels uh, in a sequence. Cool. Metal mode yeah, is the one I played where you do like time trials. Nice. Well, Let's uh, jump. Oh, that enables jumping. Well, that's optional. Ah. Uh -uh. But, uh, there's multi multiplayer normal. I wanted to try flip mode, because we All haven't right, done a game like this since Octodad. Control over the ball changes every few seconds. Which that we never sounds... streamed before. Yeah. We can do that again. It's been a while. We could, yeah. I was talking to the other on a, I think on a previous stream. It'd be cool to see another Octodad. Yeah, you mentioned that. All right, who's starting? I'm You're starting. starting. Oh, oh, wow, that going. is every couple seconds. Okay. I wonder if we have to do a, meet a certain threshold of performance. Ready, go! Okay, keep going. Woot. Like, do we have to yeah, get gold bottles to continue? So. Uh, well, we're getting silver, so... Now, for these levels, we're just kind of... All you really have to do is act like you're controlling it the whole time, and it's not a problem. Yeah. It's probably going to be more impactful when we get to harder levels. Oh, no, we falled out. So, can you can you hear the audio? Yeah, I can hear the audio. This game is also unapologetically cutesy. That's fine. So is, so is a monkey ball. There's an indicator to, yes, there's an indicator to tell when it's about to switch, which is nice. Yeah. Uh, what have I played? I played Marble It Up off stream, which allows and jumping. I didn't realize it was. Wow, you, you have. I just started this game and I'm some. Ah, shit. That was that was me being arrogant. Oh shoot, that's me. I liked Marble It Up the way it allowed jumping, but it also had a very different kind of game design. Into it had a lot of uh, had a lot of jumping and it had a lot of uh, gravity changing. Levels got to be very puzzle oriented. Where are we going? We're going this way. I thought. I think we're supposed to ride them up. We did ride them up, and no, we were supposed to ride it higher. Oh well. I, think. I don't know. I wish I could turn the cam- okay, we can. Oh, there it is! Is, is your oh, right stick not control camera? No, it does. It's just, it can't, I can't control it unless I'm in control. Can't wait to see this when you get to that domino level in World 9. Fuck that level! There were some mean ones when I played this game. 
What was the other? There was another game that came out more recently that people are saying is even more Monkey Ball like. Like, it gets the physics just a little bit closer than this does. Oh, well, we gotta play that then. Ready? Go. How's this gonna work? Oh, very easily. <laughs> this is every level in the Wii remake of Monkey Ball. Is it really just shit like this? Actually, no, it's the other way around. They had levels like this to accommodate for how inaccurate motion controls were on the Wii version. <laughs> you know, and if you have to change the level design to make it to make it easier because of your stupid gimmicky controls, then maybe it, the controls are the problem. And then they the ported design. that Wii game to Switch, and to compensate for not having to use motion controls, they made it incredibly difficult and remove those rail sections with, like, really narrow pads you had to get down. Okay. Do people like that? Eh. Well, what the... It killed... It... It killed? I... 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 The, I uh... It, I got a hiccup. That's uh, what happened. Just mild uh, hiccup. Dream seems to be having difficulties. Spending a lot of time in the red. Ah... Uh. Get in there. Good. We're in. The other game we had on the on the list like this was Croc 2, whenever we get around to that. Ready? Go. We could always just uh, do two players, one controller again at some point. Yeah. Shit, that was my fault. We did NES and then never really did any more of that. We could do SNES. We also never finished Sonic 1. Yeah. We got to the I... end, and then the save state didn't work. When we lost to the final boss. Ah, I forgot. I, I gotta I gotta be more on the ball. So how many of these kinds of games have you played besides Monkey Ball and Rock of um, Ages? I played uh I played uh Marble Madness, does that count? Yeah, that I'd say that was the originator of the Marble games. I've been planning yeah, to played... do a short stream of that to show it off. I keep wanting to gun it. I'm getting impatient for my turn. So is this... How many t how many tries did it take you to beat this level? Oh, I don't remember. I don't think this one was particularly a struggle. Well, I'm sorry for making it harder for you, then. That's, that's the idea. Although, in uh. order in order to get more levels, I found out, I couldn't just get through them. I, have, I had to get gold medals. Like, I had to get the, the best times in order to get that more levels sucks. to play. That sucks. Just unlock all the levels and then and then just let us... I agree. Oh, come on. Uh... That was one one thing I did mention while playing it, is that it would be nice to... Uh... So nice I saw to just have all the levels. I feel like a game that's, like, really cutesy just belies the fact that it's going to be incredibly fucking difficult. Yeah. That's the, the most insidious uh, game design. Uh, you were up. Ah, yeah. Whoops. Ready? You guys got to be get back to Kingdom Hearts 2. Do we have to? It's it, out on Epic, right? We could totally, out. We could totally do that. It, it has been released for PC. Ready? Yeah, one of us could buy it, and then... And then Actually, you'd have to buy it if because apparently, uh, I don't know if we mentioned this, but uh, but uh, Parsec only wants to work on your end. We could just uh, we we were gonna have you play it. You you could just play it on your end, and I would watch I would watch on Discord or whatever. Okay, yeah, we'd figure something out. But yeah, I had I, we had planned I think to start it over, and you would be the one playing it the whole time. Yeah, because Lord uh, knows you weren't enjoying me me playing it. I don't think were... either of us really were. I, I like it more than you do, so yeah. But you know what? That means that means I can play I can play the uh, the Atlantica section in that game, and you won't be able to stop me. Yeah, you'll have to hit it full force. You'll be like, you'll be like, why are you doing this to me? And then I'll be like, this is what it feels like to watch Ron. The fuck you. Oh shit. Also wanted to start. Uh, Twilight Princess was the thing I wanted to start next. So 
we'll finish Paper Mario, and then I guess the next games we'll have are Twilight Princess and Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. One's more action-packed than the other, so I'm not too worried about, about starting two RPGs again. Because that was the thing, we were starting RPGs a whole lot, and then... Yeah. We need we need it we need at least one action game in it, which is why I'm not I'm not I'm not uh, objecting to just getting rid of Hat and Time uh, from our rotation. Yeah. So I like I like Hat and Time. Fuck! I tilted just the wrong way. Imagine playing this on keyboard. I don't know if pause buffering is a thing in this. I know it's like super important for Monkey Ball speedruns. Maybe they got rid of it. Yeah. Okay. Got it! <sighs> Book of Mario, we have one stream left. Hat and Time, we probably have two or three left for the challenge stuff and all the DLC. We all, yeah, we need... Oh, the yellow Wait, is what's like... What's the gold a, one? That's like a bonus challenge goal. Do we want to go for it? I, I couldn't do it. You can attempt okay. it if you want to. Um, I wouldn't yeah, suggest already... it. Man, some of these are really rough. Ready, go. I wish this game was more accommodating to just picking a level and going. Because a lot of it, like this mode, is built around the Mon Monkey Ball 1 arcade style. Of having to do an entire set at once. Ready, it's like those, uh, I'm reminded of those uh, Pokemon fan games that, uh, that are like no, the, the the HMs are an important gameplay, are an important gameplay uh, aspect. They want to do all the, they want to add all the uh, old, uh, like uh, Gen One jank, the stuff that was annoying. But I'm not why ready. though? Because this is this is Donkey Kong all over again. I'm not ready to switch yet. And, yeah. You know what? At least these levels are short, yeah. and at least uh, we don't have to worry about. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking there. We don't have finite lives, thankfully. Yeah. I think that was the case in Monkey Ball One Arcade Mode. I didn't really care for Monkey Ball One because of the way it was structured. Monkey Ball Two was more. I was, I was more willing to play that. <gasps> we got gold. How the fuck did we manage that? There is platinum. Ready? Of course, there's platinum. <laughs> so, this, so this is a platinum game all along. Oh. Obviously, yeah, they're uh, they're working on a DLC mode where your ball can jump and uh, hack and slash. Very oh, ambitious God. for a marble game. I would love to see like a like a speedrun style platformer involving uh, involving just uh, platinum like, games does speedrunners. Platinum game. Like a combination of platforming and platinum. Like imagine if Mario had like had like uh like uh physic cutting mechanics. That'd be pretty sweet. There would almost have to be a uh like a hookshot grapple kind of mechanic to combine attacking and movement. Cause you don't want to stop and fight all the time in a platforming game. That that was the Sonic Heroes problem. Yeah. You'd have to be really quick. It would be like... You're Man, Sega can't even get a regular Sonic platforming game right. You want him to add, like, hack and slash combat? Sega? Or just, you know, just... It's already a like, tall order. I'm not order. talking about just, Sega. It's already a tall order just to get fast, fluid platforming done. Regardless of the company involved. Well, it's a, it's a, hard, it's a tall order to invent wholesale... But if, if somebody's laid the groundwork, then it'd be easier. Yeah. Like, like somebody saw what what Galaxy was doing for uh, Hat and Time, and they're like, hey, how about we just fucking do that except better? And Hat and Time, as a result, is one of, like, the best controlling platformers ever. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, come on. Why did you stop promoting Bethesda games? Who? Fallout. No. Fallout. I think we'll get 76 Fallouts. 
We have to die. We'll have to die like uh, forty something more times. I think there's twenty levels in this set and thirty levels in the next one. I hope we don't have to get like a certain score or something to unlock the third one. Shit! 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 Try going over the top. Yeah, I can do that. This is actually really difficult. Yeah? I am... I am... I am impressed and surprised at how difficult this this uh, this part is. I want to say this is like a World 3 level out of 11. Oh. Planets. I wonder why you start every time. Because I switch and then I die. Now you're going to start. Oh, no, wait. What? Okay. Oh, I see what you're going for. What the f- The game stuttered on my end just at the wrong precise time. It did it again! I don't think speed is our friend here. Yeah, it's just stuttering. No, it's you every time. I know, my game is stuttering. I the, mean, the what you start every is... time. All right, now we're which way are we going? That way. Oh, okay, I see it. Hello, Charles. Raiders. They're gonna pop out of the ground, aren't they? Nope. Just. Oh, this one has holes. What? Why are you? What are you doing? Going this way. I was trying to get out. There was a lip. Could have gotten gold, but you just. Yeah. Entropy. Final stage. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, four thousand kilometers an hour. The Y button resets, by the way. We just, uh, do we just book it at the right time? Ready, go. Wait, I'll, uh... Ready, go. I don't think we can book it immediately. We get flung off. We're gonna have to wait for the second cycle. Ready, that was, go. that's so fun. There we go. <gasps> ah, bounced off the edge. Congratulations! You cleared all my stages. Oh, totally thank you. Yes. Who is she, by the way? What's her name? I don't remember her name. This game isn't really big on story. It's just like, uh, she decides to do a recycling class project for class using paper, and that's it. That's the plot of the game. It's paper ball. She's... So her, her, uh, so I guess she's, uh, she's paper, she's, uh, God, I, we don't even have a... She does have an, she does have a name. Think you can clear this level without falling more than five times? No. No. I know how I, I know a website where I can find her name. <laughs> I bet you do. All right, so give me Coco go, the cat. Go there. For who? Coco the cat. Co her name Not is to Coco. be confused Got with it. Coco the Bandicoot. Is it C O C O or K O K O? C O C O. Okay, so her name is also Coco. What's? It's multiplayer. I just want to try this. We're not going to do the full cycle. I just want to see how multiplayer works. If we take turns or if it's like split screen. If we take turns, that'd be nice. Oh, it's split oh, it's screen. Oh, split screen. Cool. Ah. Uh, okay. Shit. Uh, you know what? I got it. That's fine. Ready? Go. I'm at a disadvantage, I hope you know. Yeah. Wait, so, so go to the... go. 
clear the previous level. Okay, so we just, so just have just to get clear. through intermediate. Yes. Intermediate one. Tilted curves. Ready? Go. I'm doing okay, Charles. I feel like this is the kind of game that uh, Gray from Gray Still Plays would play. He'd be like, all right, now it's time for the only game that would cause you to lose your mind. It's Paperball. Oh boy, one of the levels, the, the one Darian mentioned earlier, is a razor blade shaped level. I think I, I spent an hour on it. Dang it. And then the levels after didn't really cause me that much difficulty. It was just that one stupid fucking level in the middle of the game. Does Gray still play? Been a while since I've seen a vid. I, I catch him occasionally. It's always fun seeing the kind of craziness that uh, that people can do in Grand Theft Auto V, which is what he's been mainly playing. He's been doing like uh, like car racing levels with Grand Theft Auto V, and they're really crazy. The uh, like uh, cunning stunts, like uh, wall rides to wall rides and then wall ride transfers. It's just the kind of thing that it's like... That like, it's with, like, with the cunning stunts, like, pack, though. Like, that um, was a DLC GTA V had that added a bunch of, like, Hot Wheels elements and things like that. I think so, yeah. Gotta make sure you say it right. Cunning stunts. Cunning stunts. He's obsessed with, like, 99.99% .99 challenge or or 0001% challenge. This, uh, this one will make you want to delete your game. Uninstall challenge. It's some clickbaity stuff, but at least the content is fine, despite it's, uh... Despite that. Also, it helps that the guy is from Florida and he's self-depreciating about it. Yeah. He's oh, like, I started this like, time. Yep. Yeah. Interesting. I think it depends on who dies. I always liked the uh, I always liked the achievement hunter videos if, after that pack came out because it made for people make some really fun crazy levels in yeah. GTA Five using that. Ready, go. Okay. Physics. Fun. Okay. How do you get gold on some of these? That's, that's crazy. You have to be really good. Yeah. I had to get gold on all of them in order to get the final levels in the game. I got platinum on a few, but not all of them. What does platinum even do? It's just bragging rights, I guess. Which way are we going? This way? I would think this would be harder, honestly, with the way we're playing. It's a little bit harder, but it's still mostly been manageable. Yeah, we haven't been getting gold. This is probably why they're not... Thank you. Blocking. I'm... Oh no, this fucking level. Ready? Go. Uh, we can't... I guess we can't uh, go up the ledge brute force style. Nope. Believe me, I tried. <sighs> blitz mode. Gotta blitz it. Boy, gold was fun here. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I like this level. This level is dicking all the right ways. This is the prime level for us to get mad at each other. The first one of us who falls off is going to get a near full. Who says one of us is going to fall off? Alright, it's not that bad if you're not going for gold time. See, we're not. We're <laughs> it's just nice, relaxing marble games. Bumpy domes. I played Rock of Ages three off stream. It was fun. This music is a uh, is like a more. This music is like a more uh, a more uh, frantic Maple story. 
Yeah. No. Don't yeah, hear I it. I guess I can kind of hear it in a like cutesy, I suppose. Yeah. No. Wow. Fucking that one was easy. Um. Oh, Pickles. so games I've been playing off stream. I'm playing Loop Hero. Ready? Yeah. My, mainly because I figured that wouldn't be a kind of game that I would even that would be good stream material because it's pretty slow. But yeah, it's pretty fun though. You know what that game's about? No. It, it's interesting because anyway, it's hard to describe. Like I even like okay, I kind of like understood time loops. Um. You're going in a loop. You're going in a circle, and you have to put down certain things. You gotta basically build enough to fight. It, it's it's I, I'm gonna be, do a terrible job of explaining it, so I'm not even gonna try. But okay, I think Vinny did say, a stream of it at some point, so I'll probably see it eventually. Yeah, because uh, that that's a good way to a good way to uh, figure it out is just to watch. Yeah, watch Vinny play it and. Uh, and uh, you'll get you'll get an idea of what it's about. But needlessly, I'm having a lot. Of, I'm having a blast with it. I've been watching uh, Dragon Quest Builders Two. He did a stream of that. You mentioned that last time. Is that uh, Dragon Quest Builders Two looked all right? I wasn't expecting much, but it's, yeah, I've kind of get. I've, it's looking kind of interesting, and in that it's similar to Minecraft, but uh, more story driven, more single player focused, like the Terraria, bounce. but bounce, 3D, bro. Greedy? 3D, as opposed to Terraria oh, being 2D. Uh. And there's like, uh, there's a mechanic where you can train NPCs to do tasks, like farming or fighting for you. Which oh, is nice. neat, I kinda wish that was in Minecraft. I wanna boss around a bunch of villagers, tell them what to do for me. Good, Terraria, it's just that, uh, Terraria is, is 2D. <laughs> I just, I didn't like Actually, controlling no, Terraria. I know people love the game, I just, I didn't. Ready? Go. Waffles. At least they're not blue. <laughs> Dang it. Couldn't corner, couldn't, uh, Ready? couldn't, uh, corner the corner. Ah, I think. Yeah, but... Games I want to do on stream eventually. The Dark Souls from beginning to end. I did three, but I I, I want to do it in the series in order. Bloodborne, if I can trust, uh, running both uh, PS now and uh, and doing the stream at the same time. I don't know if that could happen. You've been talking then, about Hylix forever. Yeah. I don't know, I'm in the middle of doing, uh, like, like, uh, Ready, that Book of Mario, and, uh... It's kind of soured your, uh, your desire for Hylix? Well, that, well, I, I know that, I'm pretty sure Hylix's dialogue would be different than just the Google translated nonsense. There, there's, like, planned nonsense for Hylix. Yeah? I don't remember yeah, it no. being particularly planned, I just remember it just kind of being gibberish. But, uh, yeah, that, uh, a game that's been on, on my backlog for a while that I kind of wanted to play was a game called, uh, Ruiner. Ready, yeah, what's that? It's a top-down, uh, shooter from Devolver, but it has, like, really nice graphics and it's got, like, I, I don't know much about that. I've been keeping myself blind to it, but I like to just jump into the games. I'm like, okay, I've seen enough. Holy shit, we made it that time. We got gold. Skeleton. Skeleton. Ooh. Ooh. The ride never ends. I feel like that would be the name of, like, a finishing move in pro wrestling, uh... The ride um, never ends. Mr. Bones, Mr. Bones' wild ride. Yeah. Ready, go. Ride never ends.
it's deceptively easy to fall off these rounded surfaces. Yeah. Like, you don't have a lot of force to your marbling. Ready? Go! I don't remember how forgiving changing momentum in Super Monkey Ball was. Ready? Go! I never actually finished. I, I started Monkey Ball 2. I never so, finished the game. So is this game like the other games where where the level's tilting? Uh, yeah, that's, that's actually only a visual effect in Monkey Ball. No. Oh. I'm glad it doesn't do that, personally. I never liked that in Monkey Ball. Very disorienting. Ready? I, it, this, it's stuff like this that makes me kind of pissed off that people want to, like, copyright game mechanics. Yeah. Because then there are people who are, who are like, I we want more monkey ball, and people are like, no, we don't want to make more monkey ball. And then somebody is like, fine, we'll make our own monkey ball. And oh, then now people want to go, that. no, you can't do that. We own the monkey, but you're not using the monkey ball. Well, we might in the future. We feel like it. You leave money on the table. You just... No, we're just going to sit on the banjo property and do fuck all with it. You're never getting another banjo game. That people make ukulele because they're like, because they're like, no, we want fucking banjo. This has been a trend in the past, you know, five, ten years of indie people just making game style games for series that aren't putting out games anymore. Yeah. I don't know if there's necessarily been something like that for F Zero because there's been like, uh, like Revolt and similar things. There have been other, like, futuristic racers. None of them quite got the F-Zero style down, though. But this level's kicking our ass. Yeah. But you are Mr. Bones. Yeah, well, the ride never ends. <laughs> I like how our marble is just a guy who's constantly contemplating the nature of death. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> Damn, almost. Uh Yeah, copyright game mechanics. That's dumb. It's like copywriting movie genres. Ready? Go. No, you can't do a superhero movie. We did it. We did Marvel. We 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 owned it. You Although can't do detective stuff, because... Seth Rogen does basically have a monopoly on stoner comedies. Well, we need to do our own stoner comedies to do it better. Ready? Go. We need to bring Cheech and Chong back. Everyone else got a reboot. Neither one of them are dead, are, are they? I don't think so. Are they both still alive? I think they still appear in some things. I know that, uh... Tommy Chong was in uh, Color Out of Space, which was a fantastic movie, and uh, Cheech and Marin Cheech, got a family Cheech Marin was Cheech Marin was in the first Machete movie. Oh, was he? Yeah, he was the he was the priest brother. I've taken a vow of peace, and you want me to kill all these men? Yes, bro. I mean, Padre. I'll see what I can do. And then he, and then he kills a bunch of people, and then they kill. Cheech Marin, and then fucking Danny Trejo. Damn it! Almost. And then Danny Trejo is like, texted uh, him, you just fucked with the wrong Mexican. He's coming after us. Us. Death battle. Machete versus John Wick. Uh... That's, dif that's, that's a difficult call, because one is like a crazy as fuck, like, uh, like exploitation par parody, and the other is like a pretty serious, stylish action movie. So I'd like to see them team up, though. That'd be an interesting team up. Ready? Hold down, restart <laughs> to skip the stage. <laughs> you oh. you appear to you appear to be sucking here. No, I don't want to. How many times did we have it. to die for that to appear? It was like must have been like twenty. This game is really cool. It has a cutesy exterior. This is the Chloe of Monkey Ball. Yeah. It's, what, just because it's, it's mean? 
it's a this is a mean game. I don't know how difficult that other uh, mar rolled out. That's the that's the one that is more recent that people are talking about. It's still an early access though. There were some uh, Finn did some streams of Monkey Ball fan <gasps> levels. Because yeah. apparently it's got a, the GameCube ones have a vibrant, like, fan level community. And some of those uh -oh. were just Kaizo shit. <laughs> People like pushing, uh, like, completable level stuff to the, to its limits. Imagine, imagine Super Monkey Ball Maker. That'd work. That'd be a good game. That would sell. I wouldn't trust Sega to do anything after... <laughs> I don't know. Again, people people like uh, they're like every game has has like a cult following. Fucking look at Sonic 06. Objectively, it's terrible, but people still enjoy playing it because it's funny because bad. They, it's either funny bad or they're just elements that people like about it. I don't know. There's some people who the one guy who I who I like to whose videos I like uh, to uh, to Snakerer. He says that he enjoys games that are rough around the edges, mainly because those types of games tend to do tend to do stuff that other games don't, for better or for worse. Yeah. Yeah. I like how either I fall off and reset, so it goes to you, or you fall off and you leave it to switch to me, so it goes to you. <laughs> Sorry. I'll, uh, I'll be more mindful of that in the future. Ready, go. Ready, go. 15 seconds for gold. Oh, we have a we have a time it shows. Yeah. Marble It Up did have a pretty wide variety of levels in that some of them were... They had a lot of levels that were kind of <gasps> puzzle-like. Thank you for not fucking that up. And that they had a bunch of gems you had to collect before you could access the goal around the level. Ready, so it wasn't so much getting from point A to point B as it was, uh, you know, finding everything in the level and exploring. Oh, yeah. And then they had some levels that were just a giant downhill slope, blistering speed. I'd like, I'd like, that's a good uh, way to break it up a little bit. If it's done well, I mean. This and Monkey Ball don't really vary in level type so much. They're kind of all just these little mechanisms you have to get from point A to point B on. Fucking hell. Now, now we're getting the levels that are starting to give us trouble. Yeah. What did they call this? Intermediate? That makes sense. I'll bet there's a I'll bet there's a fourth one we have to unlock that it doesn't show immediately. Oh, I also uh, something. Uh, this is we've uh, we passed by it, but uh, the conversation that part of the conversation. But I also bought Code Vein recently, so that's something I want to do blind. On what a is screen. that? It's a uh, like Dark Souls except uh, except with anime cutscenes and stuff. Ah, it's got an anime art style as opposed to Dark Souls is more uh, like uh, down to earth uh, medieval. Not, I say down to earth. It's not down to earth at all. More realistic. Yeah, more uh, re more fantasy oriented rather than just. Well, it attempts to have realistic looking character models. I should say. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Realistic character looking model, realistic looking character models with uh, totally uh, crazy fantasy outfits is how I would describe it. God, this fucking double helix. We're talking about the stoner comedy movies earlier. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna write the SK8 movie. Ready? I'm gonna oh, sell it to a big robot. studio and get rich. <laughs> oh, not if I write it first, man. This is at the point where we just go slow and steady to secure the ending of the level. We don't really have to worry about time like we do in Metals mode, at least. Yeah. 
Hopefully. Boy, that'd be a mean thing to require, like, a good performance and times to unlo unlock more levels in multiplayer <laughs> modes. You know what? This seems like the kind of game that would totally do it. How often are you going to get multiple people together to work towards that end? It's not something you can grind out like a single-player thing. Um... You could if you if you uh, set both controllers to have the same button inputs. Oh yeah, you just defeat like, the entire it. purpose of the game mode. That's how you do it. Yeah, that's how if they want you to do it that way. That's how you would do it. Because that's the only way you could realistically do it. Oh fuck! Do we have to go up? I think we, we have, have to, go, to up. go up. Okay, we're still here. It's like my snowball level in Mario Maker. Not so, not so nice when you're on the other side of it. Is there any pattern to these? Probably. I'm trying to keep the camera focused up so we can see them. No, almost. I almost made it. Yes. So we can only each control the camera while we're in control of the ball. That's correct. Ah, oh, sweet! Let's grind it! No. <laughs> I think that was the strat, to, like, bounce on top of the rail and be very carefully ride it down for the speed. Ready? Go. Oh, I'll bet uh, we can, uh... I'll bet we can just jump it. Yeah! Okay, I like I like the way... I like the way you think. Let's do it. That's the best part of these Monkey Ball-style games, is finding a way to just cheese the shit out of a level. We can do it. We just need. We just need to full. We just need to send it. Yeah! Woohoo! <gasps> Platinum? <No>. Aww. <laughs> watching, uh, watching, uh, battle bots, and uh, one robot was like, was like, like almost immob immobilized, and the other team spinner was like fully going and the other team just yelled out send it and just went full blast at him and almost took out their own robot it was fucking hilarious that's not something you you you'd ever watched did you uh, no. that, uh, robot combat shows i think we just need to zip across at full speed at just the right time yeah we're doing it <laughs> at just the right time oh shit from the very back so we can build up speed. We get it? We did it. Ah. Oh, dang it. Yeah, we... Ready? Go. Go. I don't think we're gonna make it. Okay, we made it. Good luck with platinum, asshole. Turbines. This is 30 levels. Yep. How many levels are there in this game? I think there are 10 worlds with 10 levels each. So 100. Okay. Okay, now we're in Sonic World. Oh, no. Ah! We watched a uh, Steven Universe episode today that had a character design that reminded me of Space Captain Harlock. Just a little bit. And then I looked up more information about the anime, and the main villain design was also very similar to a Steven Universe character. Yes, so... I'm pretty sure they were fans. Yeah, that, that would make a lot of sense. People like Captain Harlock. I've never seen it. Neither have I. Uh, I know it was influential oh. as one of those 80s animes that uh, is in space. And I miss I miss old school. I miss uh, 80 space anime. I, I I keep thinking. I keep saying we should we should at least see if uh, if Dirty Pear is any good. Yeah. Hold down. This is some jazzy music. Go, go, go. All right, we're in. 
Yeah, this is Sonic uh, level music. It's because the vibraphone. Uh, wait, what? Oh, wait, I, what? Me? You went in. Oh, uh, you, 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 you kept. No, it wasn't you. It was me. I didn't. Oh, okay. Now that was you. We might as well just wait till the platform's coming down. Well, what? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Oh, no! <laughs> that one was rough. Turbine. Do another randomizer, uh, Zelda randomizer this summer. Like, the fact that Lars's character arc was that he... He started... He... Uh oh. <laughs> you don't want to go okay, in the I funnels. See. Well, you do, but you need to, uh, you need to time it, I guess. Like, the fact that Lars's character arc was that he, uh... Go. Alright. Wait. Wait. Alright, I think now is good. Yep. I was not expecting the, the space captain thing. The first time I watched the show. That was not where I was yeah. expecting his arc to carry him. Well, where'd you think he was? He was just gonna be, like... Just, hiding uh, in a cave? Just... Yeah, that's what that's what Steven thought was gonna... He's gonna be hiding in a cave, and then... Now he's just... Okay, I see. I see how to get gold now. I need more speed. You think we can make it that way? I know we can. It's just a matter of can we do it in this style of. <laughs> Oh, we can do it. <laughs> that was all me. What games would we want to do for a uh, Super NES? Two players, one controller. Um, the Donkey Kongs, obviously. The Donkey Kong. Uh... Super Mario World. Zombies ate my neighbors. <laughs> you ever played that game? No. Is it it's like a fun a game? That's actually top-down shooter. Yeah, it's like one of the one of the first ones I've ever played as a kid. Um, it's got a good style, art style to it, actually. Uh, it's actually multiplayer. We don't even need to do two players, one controller for that. <gasps> no, we can. You know what we could do? We have both of us control both the characters. <laughs> and like, but we're both controlling both the characters at once. Two players, two have... controllers. We did that at the end of the final NES stream. We attempted battle toads with just mixed controls on each of the two characters. <laughs> F Zero. You know what? Something else we could do is we could just focus on beating a game like that. Well, that's Croc. Okay, we'll start with Croc and then we'll move on to other games. Well, we, we <laughs> talked about Mario and Luigi. Superstar Saga was the plan, but that's another RPG. Yeah, that will have to be done at the very least after Twilight Princess. And, and or at most after Twilight Princess, at least after Book of Mario. It's also a fairly 
it's a pr pretty timing based game so I question how how good that'll be with Parsec well every game we play is timing based to the degree of like uh, I guess the problem with Book of Mario was that it crashed a lot not that there was control issues right yeah you want to fight the Shadow Queen <laughs> you, could, you could do the last stream. Now that now that it's working again, yeah, sure, I'd be down for that. Ready? I don't think this is gonna work out. Yeah, you just want to go the long way. Let's go the long way. Ah, shit! And I can't even do that now. Man, I don't know about you, but this uh, this music really gives me Persona vibes. Do these people, these jazz people, know about Persona? They know they're copying them? No. I thought I thought Persona was the hip-hop series. At, at least that's what Cal, uh, Cali, uh, Mori Calliope said. Ready? No. No, it's, it's a running joke that... Person. It's like a running joke that people on Twitter hear any jazz and they're like, hey, Persona vibes. I thought the running joke on Twitter was that if they don't like something, they immediately set out a crusade against it. Yeah. I guess, I guess they can both be running jokes. 20 out of 30 done. Is that really 20? Yeah, okay. Pendulum. Hey, oh no. Don't tell me there's ice physics here. Oh. So, left side, I guess. Thanks. No, it's okay. We'll, we'll land. Right. When you do, there are some levels you can abuse getting flung like that. In which case, the mini map in the bottom left is super helpful. Dang it. We're about to break a hundred. Are you ready? How did we get gold on that? That was crazy. Swinging platforms. I seem to recall this one being a little bit of a pain. To so like metal? I guess mostly because these red bars have collision. Ready? Damn. Okay, yeah. The last one is rough. Imagine a whole uh imagine a whole Mario style game just full of these kinds of little challenges. Like the mini-games in Mario Sunshine and Wario World. Oh, yeah. Like a Mario game that's just that? Yeah. Isn't that what, I thought that was what Galaxy was. Well, Galaxy had very long-form levels. Just tell, just like, say, hey, hey, Nintendo, how about you just do a game that's just those levels? It's called, like, Super Mario Dreams or something. Like the Super Meat Boy of Mario's. Anybody wants basic platformers anymore, though? Yeah. At least, at least that's what AAA companies are like. No, nobody wants basic platformers. Meanwhile, people are doing ROM hacks and shit because because they want that. Mario Maker is very successful. Mario Odyssey was very successful, although that was more uh, that was more back to the collectathon style yeah. as opposed to the galaxies. So this is kind of off topic. Did you ever read, uh, as a kid, did you ever read Animorphs? No. I was not aware of this series until very recently. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, you know, go on. So when you uh, first heard of the, you weren't even aware of it when you were a kid? Never heard of it. Oh, my God. So I you heard read the, the... Goosebumps. I read Series of Unfortunate Events. Man, you missed out. <laughs> I read Wayside. Uh, we say it's fun, um, but uh, when you hear the, the Animorphs, what do you think it's like? What do you think of? Uh, I think of transforming robots. Like I imagine Zoids. You remember Zoids? Zoids. Yeah, I, I remember were, Zoids. It wasn't just Transformers. There were other transforming robot shows that tried to capitalize on the trend. Animorphs is not a, a robot show. No, I'm I'm aware of what it is now. Yeah, it's a 
Okay, you're how much? Okay, you, it's kids what, who turn into animals, your, right? Yeah, they're the kids who turn into animals. Um, That's all I know about it. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna. Okay, so it's uh, about uh, it's about kids that turn into animals. What do you think they fight? What are they? What are they fighting? Uh, the the, the mafia. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> They're fighting aliens. Oh, okay. Uh, they're fighting a, a brain parasite aliens called the Yerks. They uh, go inside people's brains because their their lives are shit. They're basically little slugs, and so they go and they uh, and they go and they're trying to find like host bodies so they don't have to live out their pathetic, senseless lives. Yeah. As uh, as like these dumb aliens, as these dumb slugs, right? So they go, they find humans, and they're like, they're they're like a, a, a unicorn, they're, yeah. Because they're like, oh shit, there's a lot of them. They're 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 mobile. They have like senses. They're relatively smart. We can actually inhabit their brains, and uh, so so they're like, yeah, let's let's get in on this. So. Fighting the Yerks, uh, as well, are an alien species called the Andalites. And they're, like, they're mouthless, uh, uh, telepathic centaurs. Finally, we did it. And, uh, and they speed. have, and they have the ability to, uh, uh to, uh, analyze DNA through touch and, uh, turn into other creatures. Okay. And so, to long, make a long story, like, short for the premise... One of them crash lands on Earth and gives five kids, like thirteen-year-olds, the power to morph to fight the uh, the uh, the Yerks. Sounds fun, right? Sure. Is it like really, really dark? Yes. It's uh, it's about child soldiers in war. And oh, somebody child asked child soldiers KBL, genome project. Boss, you killed a child. Great job, boss. Where are we? Okay, I guess we're going forward. So, it's also so this is a series for for like kids, right? Yeah. And it it has like graphic descriptions of violence. Yeah. Like people getting disemboweled, losing limbs. And it was in the late nineties. It was written. Uh, late nineties, early two thousands. And. Uh, they're eventually joined up by another uh, Andalite, the guy who gave him his powers, his brother, known as Axe. Yeah. For short, his real name is actually unpronounceable to me. Uh, Axe something or other. Uh, but, uh, but yeah. They're just... Also, there's a downside to this power. If you're if you're in, uh, in Morph for uh, over two hours... Then, uh, then you get locked. Then you get mode locked. Oh, okay. Shit. And uh, and actually, in the first book, uh, one of them gets uh, trapped in the form of a hawk, maybe on purpose. Yeah. Ever wonder what it'd be like to be a dolphin? Yeah, the series. Uh, so somebody asked KJ Applegate, like, Dude, lady, what the fuck? And she's like, well, I just wanted to, people to know how cool animals are, and also the horrors of war. Yeah. Well, that gives me hope for my writing. Maybe I don't need to censor myself for kids. Man. Maybe little Jimmy would be like, yeah, fuck him up! Let there be blood! It's got a, it's got, it's still got a cult fandom, and people talk about how shit uh, YA literature is. Yeah, uh, people are like, no, yeah, but what about Animorphs? That's pretty rad. Actually, there was a big lecture, like several hour long, like quote unquote lecture that somebody did online called "You Don't Know What You Slept On." Yeah, uh, which is like you slept on this book, and then the first part of the of the uh, lecture is just called "I Forgive You." <laughs> Was it about Animorphs specifically, or a variety of things? No, it's about Animorphs specifically, because it's like, okay, you, you you didn't want, you didn't check this out because you thought it was dumb, but I forgive you, basically. 
And then every time he's like, man, I didn't know this was so... And the guy just... Every time somebody's like, I didn't know this was there, he goes, I forgive you. Oh boy, we got physics. Now we uh, have a moving platform. Oh, okay, I see what you mean now. This looks like it sucks. This really sucks. We gotta really let it go all the way over. Okay, I see I see what's going on now. No. Okay. Not gonna meddle. That's fine. Well, not even bronze. Almost. It's been too long. Ready, go. I'm trying to think of uh, of stuff I remember. I think there is like, because uh, it's very interesting because they have like weird sci-fi shit going on too, and there's like a god, like a all-powerful god. There's a couple of them fighting a, like a war, and it involves. It's very intricate, and. Uh, I think there's going to be... Was there ever, like, adaptations of Animorphs? Like, TV there shows, TV, or... There, okay, funny you should mention that. There was one TV show. It was not as brutal as as uh, the actual, like, book series. So, therefore, it's... People are like, what? This, this is shit. Because they... Why it wash shit? What the... F so, these platforms move in the direction you move the control stick. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> So how are we supposed to... Okay, I see how it is. It's very weird, like, physics finagling. Oh my gosh. This is... <laughs> They're really playing around with it. I'm reminded of, uh... Of the one devlog that, uh, that the guys who did, uh, Dusk did, where they're like... Well, we want to do a lab. We were in the middle of, like, thinking about how we were going to do a lab, but we just had no fucking ideas. We were like... We were like, well, do we... We just had no good ideas, he said. Yeah. So then they're like, well, well, what do we do? They were stuck there, and they're like, hey, how about we just make it all fucked... How about we just make the geometry all fucked up after a certain point? And they're like, good idea. And I'm thinking about, like, okay, well, we got this uh, mechanic. Well, what do we do now? And they're like, how about we just... Take platforms that move with the shelves with your with the character stick, and they're like, "Okay, cool." What? Whoa! All right, now what? Oh, okay. It just... Oh, there's more. Oh, you thought you were done? <gasps> I'm sorry. Ready? Go. This is level, level is forty-eight. Out of a hundred? Twenty-eight. I, I know, oh. but we started with twenty first. Darian, do you remember if there were ten worlds or eleven in this game? Seriously, how are you supposed to... The physics are so fucking weird. Okay, do we just go straight? Let's just go straight. Hold forward. No. <sighs> Roars. Oh no. This looks like it's gonna suck. Yep. What was the song you were saying earlier you wanted to hear in Goofy voice? Uh... It was during the talk of, like... Oh, yeah, uh, a viper. Oh, yeah, you old cowards don't even smoke crack. And it, it, it segued into, uh, into like, uh, saying, man, I want to create a, a, a work of, uh, like, a, some kind of comic or something 
where Mickey and the and the and like the House of Mouse are just fighting fighting corporate Disney. Why do you keep going down? I I don't trust. The platforms I on don't... top are pushing us forward. The ones on down are, are gonna push us back. I, I'm trying to cut through, cut across. I'm getting impatient. I know time doesn't matter, but time is an illusion, and so are pants. Oh, Jack! Ah, I tried. Get I tried pulling. It's gonna take longer. Damn it! Okay, fine. I'll do it the slow way. Eleven worlds. Okay, so I think a hundred ten levels. I think. You were talking about, like, a story of, uh, Mickey Mouse fighting to be free from Disney? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the story I was talking about. I thought, I th I thought that would be pretty interesting. Because usually the Disney company, like in South Park, is portrayed as Mickey, as the evil yeah. one or something. Which is not the case. Like, no. Mickey is dancing on their strings much as, as much as... Timing. Oh, that's reassuring. We're now at the point where the levels are hard enough that Jack can't carry a conversation. He has to focus. Yes, that's correct. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh... That was not timed properly, I guess. I guess we gotta time the... our trip Where's up the thing. So the shoulder buttons do nothing. Is there any other buttons that do anything? Nope, just roll. Maybe we can maybe we can ride up with the physics from here. Maybe not. <gasps> okay, I see what's going on. Mickey Mouse is going to be public domain within the next decade. That'd be nice. Y you don't know that. Maybe unless the Disney changes copyright law in their favor again. <sighs> Fucking Disney. We I got we got to go up at just the right time. Timing. Ready, go. There's been those YouTube shorts recently. Uh, Michael Rodent. Ready? You seen any of those? No, I haven't. Who is Michael Rodent? It's like it's a, it's a parody of Mickey Mouse. Oh, is it is it vulgar? I, I think I don't know. It looks like Mickey Mouse, but Dan versus. Oh. Now? I think that was a little late. Yeah. Right. Ready, go. Mickey Mouse beat Yoda in a recent death battle, specifically Mickey from Kingdom Hearts. Ready, what the fuck? I, I know I know fuck all about Mickey in Kingdom Hearts. Other than yeah, that he has a form-fitting robe. By the way, I think if I, I were to use any version of Mickey, I would use Mickey from, uh, from Kingdom... Like, a, a inspiration from Mickey from, uh, Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Is the... Is the stream cutting in and out, Darian? I keep seeing us go into, like, green and red. Ooh. I think that was it. Ah! No, what? Why? Why no momentum? You never played Hamster Ball, that uh, shockwave game I talk about sometimes, right? Oh, what? what's the <laughs> Can that work? <laughs> That was weird. Can we double flick it? That... Double flick it. There's a noticeable stutter every now and then. Oh well. The recording will be intact. 
Darn it. <laughs> Didn't shave it enough. Dang it! I did. I'm getting distracted. This is the final level of the set. We could try it from here again. Can't be any less the consistent than what we're doing. I'm not confident in that. Nope. Ready? Go. Try it from here, you said? Yeah. A little early. Mm. I don't think so. Dang it. That was way too late. Ready? Go. I'm, th I'm thinking of that one uh, old, like, DOS golfing game that I played where every time you, like, swung late, the guy was like, guy would cut, they would say, you're releasing very late. Yeah? Is that the way no, you said you're it? Releasing yeah, you would. He was just like, <gasps> you're right. Timing. Timing. Congratulations. You cleared all my stages. Total success. Only 136 100. deaths. <laughs> but that's the amount of fallouts that Bethesda's going to make by the end of the decade. Yeah. Thanks for playing. Think you can fall less than 15 times? No, I don't think we can. Expert. Oh my god, how, how bad is that going to be? And, and we would have to do it in multiplayer. Oh no, we unlocked it for different stages. Cool. Expert 50 Expert. stages. We're going to unlock the next one. Expert mode. So the if there fuck? are 110 stages, is the final one only 10 super hard stages? Maybe. We'll find out. Oh, right, this, this is good. We're probably this not going to finish Expert. I'm just going to say that. Oh boy, it doesn't... That's the funniest Fine. part of these physics. Funny? Uh, don't you mean... Don't you mean aggravating? Yeah. Don't like this. I Things don't like, like to this roll at all. out from under you. This is the ice. Oh, this sucks. Yeah, no, I'm not liking this at all. We were almost there. We just have to roll on it long enough. Ready, go. I, I do not like <laughs> this at all. Holy shit. This is this is bad. This sucks. <laughs> what happened? I, I didn't get in in time. I don't understand. I just don't understand why somehow we're just losing momentum on the platform. We're like doing well, and then all of a sudden. Ugh. It's just ice, but it's not clearly established that it's ice. And you can't go totally full speed or you fall off, too. Well, we can't break at all or else we'll fall off there. So I wonder how multiplayer works. If both players have to clear the level before you can progress at all. If one person clears, does it go to single screen? <gasps> Alright, good. Oh no. Please don't fall off. Okay, good. That was only eight attempts. Alright, next one. This level. Oh. 
This looks awful. You like physics? Okay, I see what's going on. It's like the Gravitron. Oh, it's stuck to the side. I thought it was okay. You thought we were going to the top? No, I thought I thought that we would eventually hit it. I don't I don't know what I was thinking. Oh boy. <gasps> okay, these <laughs> We're going we're going to full Chloe right now. <laughs> Chloe being the Queen Bee character from Miraculous Ladybug and one of the most punchable characters in fiction. <laughs> it, the worst. She was. She is the worst. Ready? No. It's, it's 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 very impressive how much that she is. She is the the character I I. She is the most hateable character I've ever had the privilege of seeing. <laughs> Outside of maybe some real scumbags in anime, like the like the doctor in JoJo who told his old people that no one loved them. Uh, Shout Tucker. Shout Tucker's pretty bad. Shout Tucker. Oh man. <laughs> I don't know. Like the thing is with Shout Tucker is that is that he made like a really bad decision, but Chloe's not really doing anything bad enough to warrant like her getting like arrested or anything. Like, she doesn't know she's causing, like, akumatizations. Yeah. But then again, even if she knew, she probably wouldn't care. Oh, yeah. God damn. <sighs> That's only level three. Sailor Moon didn't oh, really have one? a mean girl character. Then again, Sailor Moon didn't really have characters. It, it just had the five and Molly, who was phased out in season one after they established the five. Okay, no, it did have a mean girl character. You know who it had? Who? Uh, Neptune and... Uh, I it guess, had, it had yeah. The cousins. They weren't usually... They weren't usually mean so much as they were just full of themselves. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, that's the closest thing we got. Imagine if... Uh, imagine there was the if... two... The star lights that weren't the nice ones. Yeah, the nice one. If we, if we drop, like, straight down with no momentum, I think we can get there. Oh. Okay, I That's see what's what... going on. Ready, go. Wait, hold on. Can we drop off the side? No, we Probably. can't. Because we can't... We can't turn... <gasps> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> Damn it! So close! <laughs> Omni-Man's up there right now in terms of horrible fathers. Yeah, he's a popular one in memes at the moment oh yeah no i've i've uh, i know invincible yeah that guy i i i hate you alien dad the angle of attack i think we need to go further down yeah we need to go a little bit further down here. No. It's possible for holding like full right and in. 
We're sh we're uh, we're going over it. Ready? We're over. I know. We need to like go straight into it, which is possible. Yeah. Ready? I'm thinking, this is giving me dude perfect vibes. Yeah. Oh, I we can just do it the normal way. I didn't mean to do that. Also, that's not really the normal way. That actually might work better. We can't go through worked. at speed, though. We have to, like, stop at the bottom of the slope. Throw a stop ball. Oh, whatever. We're here now. Oh, dang it. I did make the straight shot in, in the single player. There were a lot of levels I found the cheese for. You think you think they, they divide, design these levels with that in mind, where it's like, hey, this is cool? Oh, I'm sure they had ones where... Like, they had to know when cheese was possible. Any level that you can, like, drop if the goal is below where you start at... The fact that those are the platinum times means they definitely know about the cheese. Ready, go. Ready, go. Oh no, not again. Ready, Maybe the second swing? Ready, Here you go. go. Okay, I see what you mean now. Okay, these don't have physics. These, these have, I mean, these have physics, what the hell? So the other level, you... Oh my god. It's only some... Well, no, it was a blue platform was the slippery one. These are purple. Filter? Hello. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Ready, go. Why am I being attacked by cardboard dildos? Ready, go. Oh my god, this game is brutal! Card... Cardboard dildos. That doesn't sound like a good idea anyway you cut it. You're not taking control I know, after I know. I'm getting a good start and then you're This is a cheesable physics level. I think I remember getting pounded to the goal. Well for some people the goal is getting pounded. Yeah. Any hole. Any any pole and is a goal. Any hole is a goal for some. And you know what? That's Ready, fine. As long as you're safe about it. Fuck. And you know, don't uh, don't don't fuck people you shouldn't. What is Octa's thing? Does he have like magic? Well, Octa from uh, from Dragon Guard Three. Yeah. Uh, he uses ch chalk chakrams. Ah. Get it? No. Because it got holes. Oh. There was a also, dude in Yu Yu Hakusho who had a giant chakram that he used as a sword. It was a it was a ring sword. He called it. Oh yeah, no, those. The those demon doctor. I forgot to take control. Let's try to get pounded. Let's do it the fun okay. way. We buy the first one, and we'll watch the mini-map. You, you tilted to the right. Yeah. We have to get to They're the other side with first, though. What? They're not hitting with enough force. Well, they, it will if we get to the other side and position ourselves right. And then watch the mini map when we do it. Well, that, this isn't that, gonna uh, work with the trade-off mode. Yeah, let's just go for it. Ready, go. Unless. Ready, go. I have what are you thinking? We, we're doing it the wrong way. We're, we're waiting for it to go up. We need to wait for it to go down. Yeah. squeeze, right? We let it squeeze us between the platform, 
and it'll shoot us right at the goal. That's bold. I don't think it'll work, but... <sighs> now nah, let's keep going. We'll, we'll try it. I think it'll send us, like, straight horizontally forward into the next dildo. Alright, yeah, you're probably right about that. Also, there's... You know what? Why'd you... Okay. I want to try it. No, well, that's... We, we, it probably won't work. That's fine. Let's just go to the end. We, we might have to... Uh, we might have to skip the level just to see more levels. We're going to reach that point eventually. Uh. <gasps> what was with that gas? That was oh, so I don't know. That's my cringe noise, because I'm cringing at your performance. I, I saw a cringe in the wild the other day when I revealed oh, yeah. to my bus that I knew what Among Us was. One of the fourth graders <laughs> just sunk. I know what it is. Oh, you just said, I know what it is, that's it. No, like, I, I, I'm the littler kids, like the kindergartners and first graders are talking about it. And I mentioned it, and the, and the older kids like, oh, no. Oh, no, our lame bus driver knows about Among Us. Now it's not cool anymore. I'm pretty sure he's at, at that, the age where he doesn't, just doesn't think it's cool at all anymore. Anything little kids like is lame. I want to distance myself from that. That's yeah. That's and, that, and that's why and that's why people like Akira and uh, and horror movies. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. What's the? Oh, okay. I tap out. I got achievement for that. Oh boy, what are we doing? Don't get hit. Ready? I got what? hit. Why'd you stop? Ready? You, you just went to a dead stop for some reason. Ah, dang it. Why is this so hard? It is nice that it does apparently unlock the multiplayer mode levels in tandem. Not that they should be locked in the first place, but... Go watch our regular multiplayer. Yeah, I, I don't think... I, I'm... Back yeah, to menu. you're in control, so back to menu. All right. Let's get rolling. <clears throat> yeah, let's see how this works. Ready? We have to start over again, but we're in split screen now, so maybe it'll go faster. Yeah. Dang it. Okay, it, oh, does, it doesn't play your... F no, it plays yours, too. Yeah. Ready? Go! Ready? Go! Ready? Go! The lack of wide... of, of like, wide view is really hurting me. Yeah? Oh! <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> I... I beefed it. Ready? Go! It's hurting you more than sharing a controller with me, though. Shit. I don't like this stage at all. I got uh, I got open roller coaster tycoon set up on my end today. 
I just have to uh, make sure it works with you and Bacon Bomb before we can eventually do a stream of that. Come on. That. I'm done. Next level. Let's go. Ready? Go. I can't skip. Ready? You have to die a certain number of times first. So you're you're in the lead with six thousand points. Those things hit you with so much more force than they look like they would. Must be disorienting. The weird ice physics on this stupid circle are the most disorienting thing. Or any time these kinds of platforms appear in this game. These platforms are awful. They're always moving, too. I'm not gonna make it. Oh, there's a timer. That's good. Yeah. It ensures we will continue to progress. Yep. I'm out. Whatever. Next level. Would get Roller Coaster Tycoon, but I just sunk... That's right. Darien sunk $200 on the Castlevania Collector's Collection. I'm not surprised. Good job. Uh, I think Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 is like 10 bucks on Steam. You have it on Steam, right? Yeah, I have it. I already have it. Oh. Woo! Please stop, please stop, please stop. No! Ready? Go. Tiki, is that you? It is that same kind of, like, super cutesy ba baby voice as Tiki and Miraculous. I don't know who voices her. I know Christina V is Ladybug. It's a lot of Funimation actors in the dub. Finally! That is not good. I really need to get some... Ready, go. And I haven't had any luck finding, like, actual subtitles for uh, French shows. I've had to settle for watching Code Lyoko with close captions. That's not good. How are you so good at this? Okay, just blame Parsec. Mmm. Ready? Go. Fall out. People use Parsec for uh, Smash Brothers. They say that running it with Yuzu has like uh, less input delay than the actual games online. Muzu? What the fuck is Muzu? Uh, Yuzu is a Switch emulator. Oh. Wait, that's a thing now? Yeah. Ready, go. Impressive. One shot at this! Ready, go. It hurts! Back. Experiencing what I went through when I first played the game. Time over. I finally, I finally made the curve, and then. Ready? Go. Go. Yes. First try. Oh, you're probably going to do the cheat way. Yeah, you are. Just go for it! I'm not... Ready, 
Ready? Is Deltarune still being worked on? Is what being worked on? Deltarune. I think so. It's a it's a more co involved project, so therefore uh, it's going to take a lot longer than Undertale. You're probably even going to need uh, to get people to help them. Fuck me! Ready? I think the cheese is honestly easier than doing this level the normal way. Over. Oh. It's easier to make this, that shot. Ready? What is that easy for you, you scrub? I didn't say that. Ready? Go. That's not true, I didn't say that. You said it, you son of a bitch! Ready? Keep thinking of that one uh, meme where somebody on the YouTube comments Ready? said that uh, John Cena is uh, was Albanian, and somebody he said he's like he said Ready? death to the Serbians because he's Albanian, and somebody's like that's not true. He didn't say that. And somebody, the same person responded to him, He said it, you son of a bitch! And, and he was Albanian. Video. Yeah. And I'm also reminded of that time somebody... Oh, fuck off. Somebody, uh... Uh, made a video where... Like, with just, I guess, al traditional Albanian music, where it's like, Hey, he says he's Albanian, look! And he just... And it's just John... He, John C was like saying something to the camera and he there was a bad overdub job of him going, I am Albanian. Ready? Go. Time over. Time over. Oh this this shit again. I'm gonna do it. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Okay, maybe not. Ready? Go. Ready? Dang it! Go. What even hit me? Dildos. I could have saved it, but I chickened out and hit the reset button. I want to get the edge on you so bad. No! Enter it! Ready, I want to give you a chance to do the level. Ready, <laughs> I gotta stop this. This is, this is... How far did we get in the, the expert? I, I didn't see what level here. we stopped on. We stopped here. Oh, Wait, we? no, we... No, we got to... Ready, go. I think we did skip this level. But we got yeah, we to... We it. did a level, like, after it or two. Ready, go. Uh, Ready, go. I'm just getting worse. Ready, go. I like the complete lack of subtlety in that uh, those giant gray spiked stone pillars in Mario World are called Pounders. Ready? Just not doing well at all. This was the one. This was the one. Ready, go. Ready, go. 
stupid curve. Probably doesn't allow us to skip in multiplayer. No. Because that wouldn't be fair. This time, do a level that doesn't suck! Quits. Oh my god! You're through already? Again? Seriously? I, I'm done. I'm done. But we we got we were just about to see more stages. I'm done. Okay. Well, that's it for Paperball. Look at that. Look at this. Not even close. I'm it's, not gonna. I'm not it's gonna. It's not do about a death competition. Mark. It's about the friends we made along the way. <laughs> that could that blur commercial for blur. It's about what? making friends. And then he kicks his ass. <laughs> A very memorable commercial. Yeah, it was great. I wish, I wish game commercials like that still were a thing. Yeah. But no, they, they don't want to do that. All right, that's it for today. We'll see yeah, what, when it. we stream next. Maybe finish before Saturday. Mario. Saturday at the, uh, at the earliest. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out, Darian. See you guys next time. See ya.